So I did some off-screen grinding. Oh no! Don't worry, it wasn't for, like, levels. Uh, obviously I am at, uh, level 80 now because of the lost episode. Uh, but basically I went around and grinded these, uh, clear rot people to get the clear rot, clean rot people to get the clean rot spear. Which seems like a pretty neat spear. Also, I mean, obviously, you know, I still like the idea of using a spear. Got pokes. It's got... Another poke. It's got this cool looking thing. And it's got a little block. Look, it even has a little shield. Ain't that just adorable? Uh, it was a long grind, if anyone knows. I think it has a small drop rate. And I can dual wield, although it's a bit limited. And I had to, I think, switch to all blathe armor again. Um, obviously, might not be ideal to dual wield. I do realize that in hindsight, my idea of long reach probably isn't as impressive when I have a giant sword that basically looks like it has the same reach. But I just think it's cool looking to have like the sword on your shoulder and the, the spear in the other hand and the cape flowing and it's all cool stuff. Also along the way, I was able to get basically all of the armor, even enough that I can get the altered versions of the armor. And the armor is nice enough. Uh, it's kind of funny. Yeah, that's not what I wanted to do at all. It's kind of funny. It seems like basically this is just a grind route that people use because if you go around... Like, I looked up spears because I was like, oh, well, is there a good spear I want? Like a faith spear? And it kind of is. It's got D uh, faith, but it has C dex. C strength as well. But it, it seems pretty good. It seems strong. I upgraded it as much as I could. It used the uh, Sombering Smithing Stone, so I went maybe a little overboard with it. Um, so the thing that sucks with this is you guys don't drop it because you have the... Um, I think that might be a Halberd. They have the like that Halberd-looking thing. Or maybe it's a Scythe. It actually could be a Scythe. Uh, so they don't drop it. What you need is the ones that have the spears. And I think, is this one? I don't think this is a spot. Still no armor. All the more. Praise the horseback battle. Anyways, it seems like all of the spear ones, except for that one. That one I think is... It's been a minute since I did this route. So forgive me. I don't remember which one was over there. I do remember some of them over here because I didn't learn about that one till later. But you'll see a lot of messages on the ground because people are just trying to, I think, grind the spear as well. So these would be the ones that have the spear. You can see they have one. Am I going to get another spear? Okay, got the sword. It would have been kind of funny. I would have had a laugh if I had gotten the spear again. But yeah, so I basically grind it for that. Got way too many uh, ruins for it. So I ended up upgrading this to nine. Which might have been a waste of materials, but whatever. I think I bought the last uh, key from the Twin Maidens at the round table. I know there's supposed to be a shortcut to get you to the round table thing. And then I upgraded Mimic Tier as much as I could. So, what I want to do right now is just, as much as we want to go to Volcano Manor, I think I do want to just explore as we make our way along to that. Uh, let me actually do this tunnel. I think I'd rather just not start leaving stuff behind, because I am getting a little crazy about that. I do want to use the spear a bit, so we can at least say that I didn't waste money. Pretty good damage. Pretty, pretty nice. I guess I wish there was some, uh, maybe a roll... That gives me a little bit of a slash. I know there's, like, crouch animations on attacks are kind of different and sometimes can be good. Apparently with the colossal weapons, the uh, crouch is a really fast, like, poke. And that's, like, kind of where the meta is there. Also, jumping attacks, not like that. More like that. Jumping attacks tend to seem very meta-like. Which I kind of keep mentioning. They're like, oh, maybe I should do more jumping attacks. It's hard. I don't know. I, I keep thinking that my feet are just planted on the ground and I can't do anything. 
I, I don't remember how long it took me to get used to that in Sekiro, but I'm gonna say probably not, uh, do do 63 hours. I'm gonna put that out there. But yeah, this spear seems pretty neat. I think if you look at its damage numbers, it's technically lower than the Bloodhound, but then it also has the holy damage, which I believe is actually built up. Not built up, but also applied to just the normal attacks. Yeah, you get after. I see the gargoyle man up there. I just have to maybe aim. Oh! Ooh, multiple gargoyle men. Oh, that one tried to get me. Okay, I really need to pay attention. I'm not taking a lot of hits, though. Need to really, um... Lock on since I'm poking. I don't have my uh, godsend. Okay, okay. Don't have my uh, godsend of being able to uh, swing. Well, we can deal with you quick. You die easily enough. Mmm. Hurt me today hoping I could stop him from casting, but it was a little too late. That guy's a little bit special, I think. Oh, he sees me! The good thing about this is that the swipe you do causes damage, as you can see. Oh, jeez, where did you come from? Which is a shame for me at the moment, because I don't even know how much damage the, uh, the spears coming out of the ground do because I've killed everything with with the swipe more so than the ground swell. I'd imagine the ground swell is definitely going to be better against crowds of enemies as long as you can actually get it to go off. Kind of seemed like it had um what is it hyper armor? I think that's what it's called when you don't stagger. Seemed kind of like it had that hyper armor. When you use it. I see you snails. You almost tricked me. But I see you. God the way they like. Clouded up there. Kind of freaked me out. Yeah that seems like pretty good damage. Uh. Kind of. Chunky FP cost, but I guess everything is chunky. It's not that bad. I used it twice there. My FP's. Is it just in here? Hmm, I really shouldn't have opened it yet. I don't think I can apply any of my uh, faiths to this. Hmm. Let me hit someone. I see now my target should be spinny lads. Maybe I should, um, hmm. Maybe I should reconsider some of my options right now. Okay, that poke just goes. Which I guess I should expect. You're way better at spears than I am. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should uh, switch it back up. Oh, I don't... I don't know why I didn't switch to my uh, real blade. All right, let's try to not suck a little bit. I say not suck, I'm still sucking so bad. No more healing. Cool. Oh, 
Awesome. Doing uh, great work here. Yeah, I'm, I let that happen. Um, So the thing that sucks with them is I have to stagger them. So I do need to focus. It's just I had a really hard time. Look at that face. Look at that freak. I had a really hard time getting like an opening in. I do think I'm going to just Bloodhound because that seems like a better option trying to stay back and poke. Um, let me apply that right away. How easy would it be for me to run without... I mean, I'm going to alert like everyone here. There's also way more dungeon. I don't know if that means there will be way more bosses or what. Okay, that's not too bad. I don't think I had a lot of souls. I'm not going to really worry about it too much. That is actually a decent amount. Cool. You can just stop with the pokes. Holy shit, dude. You just don't stop. Mm -mm -mm. Pain. So much pain. God, these guys suck together. There's that stagger. So I, oh fuck, I ran out of stamina. So now I should be able to deal with you as long as I don't fuck it up. Oh, I, I fucked it up. I, um, I thought, obviously I don't have that hyper armor when I try to use the Bloodhound skill. But yeah, so I, I just need to be able to knock you out to like get that crack going. Because that's what happened with the other one when I did like no damage to it. And then uh, once it like fell to the ground, it like got busted, and that's when I can strike. But I don't, I don't like these guys. I don't think I have any good faith to use for this. I guess I forgot to apply the uh, flame grant me strength. I could try frenzy burst, but I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, thank you, thank you for the pot shot, Mister. Very kind. Cool. Awesome. Multi-target attack. Oh, you don't always do your jump. Fuck. Okay, I got that stagger. Back off a little bit. Because if I can just get rid of one, like, I don't know if Spear Guy can do anything but this. Ran out of stamina. Mmm, I wish the target would have hit you. Uh, let me go back to, oh, I'm out of magic. Some of my juice again. I thought. I um. I thought I was at good range. That like goes a lot farther than I keep thinking it will. But we're done. It's just it, because they have like super armor. It's a little rough. Or somber stone minor bell too. Let's go. Touch bloodstain. I thought it was a material for some reason. Uh, okay. I probably should just... <sighs> Someone's mad at me over there. I probably should just head back, but... There is more dungeon. I feel like I need to just deal with... Whoever's angry at me. 
cool whiffs we had there. Here! You're right, it is here. God about this snail. I, these snails aren't really doing anything, so I don't know if I need to kill them, but I don't want to be... I don't want to be assaulted from behind. You know how it is. Guess we'll go. Could try doing my double here. My double whammy. We'll see how it works. Obviously, two handing does not give us as much. Um, strength with our normal attack. Wasn't there another... Oh, there that must have been the other goblin I saw before. Like, that's the thing. Like, I, I don't think this is an ideal situation to try to two-hand random weapons like this. I'm wondering if there's any that would be ideal for two-handing that aren't, um... I think it's called power stancing. Oh, he hates that poke, though. So if I'm not two-handing the uh, spear, it bounces off of these guys. I still don't know exactly what indicates that. Precious item ahead. Or is it a trap? Let me heal up. Also, I'm going to magic up. I don't think there's going to be that much going on. Maybe, maybe there will be. Okay, hello! It's one of you freaks. Oh, goddamn. I mean, I see that. I do not think I would be able to get... Oh, I, I just see it's a full drop. I see you. Trying to be sneaky, snail. I don't know if I'm protected here. I'm gonna try to find somewhere else a little safer, maybe? Yeah, there was an item. Is there somewhere I can go? Ow. This wouldn't be like a part of another dungeon, would it? I mean... Okay. Liar head. I'm definitely not safe there. I found somewhere I could go. Arsenal Charm 1, um, I'm, I'm going to say nothing for me here. Unless if there's an illusory wall. Well, that looks like that would be way too far away. Maybe something up here, like a, um, I also need to look. Is that Arsenal Charm better than this? No. It would have been, like, obviously better than what I had before, but me doing the big jar quest thing. Like, I, I just, I feel like we're that, uh... Hmm. I guess, I think I'm done here. I'm gonna keep that marker just in case. Why did I... Oh, that was the, um... Right. I remember why I put that there. That was the, uh, the wandering candelabra guy. I left, like, you alive. I think it's about the same length of time, too, between stabs. So, like, realistically, probably not the best 
trying to combine these. I just, I don't know. I think it's cool. And at the very least, it's a different weapon to use. And I think it's a good one to use for skeleton lads. Even if we don't need Holy to actually beat them, I think this will help a bit. At least kill them quick and then let me get the uh, second hit in on them. And I just think it looks cool. I'm going to put that back down. So, what I want to do before we actually do explore, Earth Tree, I think I missed. I see this path here and this little area. God, I forgot about the noises. I had said before in the lost recordings that I wanted to, I think, look at that. And this kind of looks like it goes back into the where I think the capital would be. Because it looks like the gate goes and then, like, this is where the wall is. So I feel like this is capital city proper, because Divine Bridge, where we were teleported to, is over there. Well, let's uh, check out the Erd Tree. I guess I just completely forgot there was one here. I wonder if we're going to have to fight a tree monster again. I did learn that those tree monsters are basically just the skeletons of the Asylum Demon from Dark Souls. you guys I don't think this is anything special I think this is one of those normal ones I always want to double check though because I never really know sometimes I feel like they their colors don't in the K are you the tree guy Ooh, I, apparently because you freaks are guarding him Oh, apparently, because you have boss health. Look at... What are you doing, buddy? Ow! Okay! That was rude. You're trying to slime me. You go away. Mmm. That tree came in clutch. Get me out of the juice. Cool rock in my way. What are you grabbing? You're going for a grab. I saw that. And time. I wasn't really prepared for that as much as I should have been. It seemed... Okay, crimson, speckled... Crimson, spill, crystal, tear, and speckled. Uh, I was not quite prepared for that. So we want to go this way then. He's the one that dropped my thing that I want. So we're going over here now. Oh, I maxed out my, um, I mentioned that I upgraded the Mimic tier, but I also maxed out the Stormhawk. Because I had the stuff for that. And then I think at that point I ran out of money or else I would have kept going with the Mimic tier. I, again, I don't like fully want to use it, but I don't know. Ooh. Those are like windmills. Oh, that's why these look like... Okay, neat. Howdy, how are you doing? Lady! Hmm. I kind of want this out right now. I thought you had a rake. Look, what, look at the way she's walking. Is that a giant skull? Well, they, they die easily enough. And I got a celebrant cleaver. So I, uh, I guess that's cool. That's a neat thing. Can't be mad about whatever that is. Can I climb the windmill? All right, those are people walking over there. There's a, uh... Skedub. Based on its location, I'm assuming it's a special Skedub. It was... Ooh, Protection of the Earth Tree. 
That sounds like an incantation. I just had to get to this endgame location to finally start getting stuff that I can't use because I haven't been upping it. Increases affinity damage negation for self and allies. What is affinity damage negation? For all affinities except physical. Okay, just everything. Except physical, obviously. Hold to continue praying and delay activation. In the beginning, everything was in opposition of the Earth Tree, but through countless victories in war, it became an embodiment of order. Yeah, I don't know about that. But dude. Order sounds kind of lame. Yeah, so that whole thing, we're in like the windmill zone. That's neat. I like windmills. When I was young, I never really thought that windmills were like used for anything. I just thought they looked cool. Like, I didn't think there was any practical uh, application. I just thought they were like, let's have spinny things because they work in the wind. Kind of like how pinwheels are just for fun. I thought windmills were just bigger versions of that. Let's like read on the door. Let me go somewhere where I feel safe, like on top of a roof, because I kind of want to read that cleaver. Because whatever's going on here might be interesting. Because it has windmills. Assuming it was like a normal sword or something. I think they consider cleavers to be like axes, actually. Yeah, there it is. Cleaver decorated with many colored fabrics. Is that what it is? Ceremonial, excuse me, ceremonial tool used by dancers during the festivities of Dominula Windmill Village. Crafted from human bone, grants trace amount of ruins upon landing attacks. Interesting. Wild strikes. Swing armament with wild... Uh, that, I think, is a normal armament that we could just use. That's the one uh, I think we saw that when I was trying to do the jar fight at some point. Where they can kind of... Oh, hello! This is why I wanted to be on a roof, because I thought someone might show up somewhere. Um... When we were trying to do the big jar fight, I think the wild strike was the one where they were kind of walking forward and just swinging wildly. Hence the wild strike part of the name. Uh, so we are just going in here. I'm sure this is a battle zone. Hey, a grace too! Are they just dancing? I thought that man was a bubble. I think he has the jellyfish shield on. Or... Actually, that looked different. Hello? Eek! I hear a festive melody. No, no, don't skin me. My height is filthy, I swear. Ha oh, lord. Maybe we'll try some poking. Okay. That's kind of neat. Right, the guys with the big skulls have more health. What if I dance with you? We can dance if we wanna. <laughs> this place is great. I mean, they might skin me. I guess I have my L2 if I need it. If I get, like, grouped up on. There was a bonfire. Oh, I can level up. I can also just do that and not worry about it. Apparently, I'm too fat to enter that section. Old ruins. <laughs> Their noises are killing me right now. Also, they might be killing me. So, yeah, there's a lot of reeds. It's like a, um... Anything cool over there? There is an item. I guess I can grab it, and if I... Oh, I can come back. If I couldn't come back, I'll just go teleport and level up from that. Cool item? Yeah, it is. We got that skull, actually. I thought that would be a drop. Now, that's a hammer. And if that's not a hammer, then what is it? It's a great hammer, that's what it is. Large bludgeon decorated with flowers and many colored fabrics. Ceremonial tool used by 
dancers during the fest, it's the same thing. Striking in as a skull too large in size to be human, grants trace amounts of ruins on landing attacks. Barbaric roar. Again, that, I think that's a normal one. Um... Oh, I'm like in a different section. I guess I'll go that way because I saw that that looks like a building you can go into. Yeah, I saw that one. Don't tell me what to do when I'm already doing it or already did it. You know what I mean. I feel like when we're in like an area like this, maybe they could just give you a bit more like of a leveled gold ruin. We're like past... Wait. Perfect idea. He loves it. It definitely gives you more range. Part of me thinks, too, I, I know it would probably be, like, overpowered or something. Oh, you guys are here. Ah! I should have known. I, I absolutely thought there could be something, but I don't see it. There's no way a dog could be hidden there. And all these signs. All right. What are you freaking out about, dude? I'll save you. Oh, you are strong. Poke him. Oh, he's rolling. Not quite as much hyper armor. I, I'll save you. Never mind about that hyper armor thing that I thought. Damn. So if they roll in, then I'm not as lucky. Oh, okay, that swing is larger than I thought it would be. If they roll in, then that, um, that spear is not going to quite hit. I saved you. Let me heal. Praise the dog. Stay calm. I know there's a dog over here. I saw you. I was ready. This is the pasture of the windmill zone. I guess let's... Before we go into, like, the proper windmill section, I guess we can just... Check out these other windmills along the way. Kind of like that. Being able to just kind of hold it there and poke. Oh, they're dancing again. Hey, I'm just going to steal your, um... Noble stuff. Oh, these are... What are you doing? Oh, he's a creeper. What did you... Oh, they, they don't take that much damage from their own explosion. Come here. I was confused about, like, the low health damage that was happening to some of them. Twin Night Sword. They seem not... Oh, no. Never mind. They they seem a little upset now. I was going to say they didn't seem too upset about the explosion getting them, but... But now... So, basically, as soon as one gets got, then they're all peeved, which I get it. The dance has to be choreographed, specifically. Oh, one more splody guy. Hello. Well, I got some cool things. Glad I came over here. Got like a full armor set. Hidden? Oh, that windmill just clipped right through me. Oh, no. Dog, oh, dog. Seek calmness. Yes, dog. Seek calmness. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing. Get on a roof. I know they can probably throw stuff at me, but I'm a little bit more safe here than I was before. So we got like one of these robes. 
Ah, uh, it's the same thing, but it does mind. By, I, I guess this one did vigor by one. Uh, hooded cloak of deep navy worn by expatriated royalty. Increases mind. Such cloaks were gifts. Mm, such cloaks were gifted to those who departed on missions to faraway lands from which they would never return. What choice did they have, having seen the guidance of grace? I think this was the same thing. Except that Rodrigo never saw it. This one was more like vague, like they didn't. They didn't have a specific idea of where to go. They were undesirable if they were crimson compared to navy, I guess. That blows. Um, and then I got like the. I don't think I ever read the Finger Maiden robe. Maidens live to serve those chosen tarnished, sharing their guidance and the wisdom of the two fingers. The guidance of grace would ensure that the pair be brought together, or at least such was the promise long ago. Uh, that obviously wasn't what I was looking for. They're like one of these. What was it? Noble's Traveler Garb. I think this is what uh, Rodriga had on. Traveling attire fashioned from metallic white silk thread worn by expatriated royalty. A gift of such rare beauty, royal wouldn't disgrace their illustrious heritage even if found dead in a ditch in the middle of nowhere while wearing such splendid raiment. A gift of such royal wouldn't disgrace their illustrious heritage even if found dead. So like, as long as you're wearing that, who cares if you're in a pile of exploding corpses? You look like, you're, you're like fire girl. Anything cool in this pool? You're not really cool, you're just a guy. Spear seems kind of nice for mounted combat. What a like weird little pool. I don't know if, like, would there be any reason for me to be hanging around here or should I just let them, I'm gonna let them go. It's just like, here's some water, and eh, we'll put, like, some zombies down there. Who cares? I will say, having the curved sword on my back looks way cooler than having the uh, spear on my back while holding the curved sword. That just starts to look clunky. Sword on back looks way cooler. Halberd might have still been a cool, ow, cooler option. I don't know. I know that, um... Locking on is also a cool option. I know that, uh... What is it? It was like a really weird name. It's the Spear Halberd. I think it's called like a Tree Sword Spear. Even though it's a Halberd. Hmm. Curved Sword seems like a good idea right now. <gasps> the Big Rat! Yeah, this is a great battle happening right now. The ultimate battle. Very cool. Giant rat ash! Yo, better than dogs? Kinda wanna be like the royal rat authority. Isn't that a Dark Souls enemy? Royal rat lord or something? Three giant rats. When you say giant, you mean like the small giant or the big giant? Spirit that dwell used to summon spirits. Rat spirits appear at a distance from the summoner, swarming upon their victim to start a fight. Even a spirit, these vermin seem to multiply endlessly, enhances these ash can increase their numbers. That's neat. How much does it cost to use? None? What? They don't require FP to summon. I might, I might want to try that out. I'm just not in a zone where I can use them at the moment. Um, this is technically a path forward. And honestly, a path towards Volcano Manor. Let's go that way at least until we find a bonfire. And then we can go back to Windmill Zone. Hmm, might have been too much of a drop. Okay, it's okay. We're good. None of you guys want to turn into bears, do you? Just want to double check. What are you guys doing here? Ow. Rude. I 
I like how, um, I missed a lot of those attacks. So, that's just a castle. Volcano Manor, I think, has to be that. <sighs> Dude. Is it, basically, here's where... Rude. Here's where I'm going to spend the other 60 hours of game time. That down there. I, I really want to just get the map, but it's all the way at Volcano Manor. Oh, that's a pumpkin. I, I'll go after pumpkin. He's like guarding something. Nope, don't lock on to whatever you were doing, dude. Ha! Pumpkin couldn't handle me. Oh god, I thought that was a dog. It's just a weird sheep. Gravel stone, that was a weird noise. Sanctuary stone. A car over here. I'm gonna say, is it a, like a trap cart? But I don't think there was that much up there. Nothing? If only I had a treasure chest. Yeah! What's the point? Uh, looking at that Atlas Bloom. Oh, well, there's the point. Can I summon here? I don't think I want to summon rats, but... Hmm. I might go... with this right now. Do you guys actually throw that flag as, a, like, a spear ever? It really looks like you should, but I don't think I've ever seen you. Like, I think the one at that fort had a spear... Or like, yeah, it looked like a spear, and they just never seem to actually use it like one. I, horse combat's kind of nothing in this game, but when you're in groups like this and you're just mowing them down, it's kind of fun. Especially when you miss. Probably shouldn't be relying on the heavy attack. I think besides this little guy right here, I just need to deal with the the trolls. Finally, leather draped armor. I think that was all dropped, right? You guys don't want to deal with me, right? Curious about what you're kind of protecting over there. I also think all I have to actually do is kill, like, one of them. Can you... Thank you. I think all you need to do is get it to the point where they're... Kneel down like this, and then you can actually get the treasure. So as long as one's down... I think this becomes available. Yeah. Great star at... Uh, not an axe, it's a mace. Oh, there it is. I can use it. Almost. Yo, no, I can. I have strength 25. That might be a good option for me for strike damage. Hey, guys. What are you doing? Hmm. Poking me with your fire sticks, I see. Very cool. So I'll just let that guy, like, starve to death over there. Or whatever they do. I don't even know if they eat. Oh. Thought you'd be like a buddy. You're just gonna like snipe people with... What's that? I don't know if that's poison swamp or just fog. Wow, there's a lot of guys just over here. What's going on? Are you guys gonna attack the... That castle? 
Mm. I need to get off horse because that was going bad. Pull miss. I mean, it seems like that's what they're doing, right? It's like we're ready. Ooh, there's a. Where are we? It's over here. Damn it. Like, I don't think they're really guarding too much. It's just this seems like the path to continue that way. I desperately let me heal. Mm hmm. I'm not gonna worry about you guys. I desperately want did not want to do that. Well, at least you were a nothing enemy. I was, um, I was fumbling controls trying to switch so I could blood flame up. But it's fine. It was a nothing enemy. Everyone loves a nothing enemy. Bloody Hellas. I'm assuming that does some kind of, like, blood damage? It almost looked like a colossal Graptus sword. Oh, where are you? What are you? Is that you? It does do bleed. Ominous piercing sword with a winding blade. That looks cool. Carried by noble servants of the Lord of Blood. What is the Lord of Blood? We do have blood stuff. Zenda born to flesh causing severe blood loss at the wound. The extract of blood trickles gracefully down the length of the blade. Cool. Dynast Finesse. Nimbly avoid an attack. Secure some distance from foe. Follow up with strong attack to perform a sun lunge. Then press strong attack again to perform a sweeping slice. Sounds like a cool version of the uh, Blood Fang. Oh, dog! What were you doing, dog? You must have followed me after I, like, ran by everyone here. Look at this dog eating some meat. Well, I'm assuming since we got what we... Is that... Yeah, that's alive. I don't really know which way you're pointing, but you're not really pointing at me. Dog! Ooh, that, I got that bleed, proc. Were you anything special? No? Why, why was that there then? I would love to be able to open up my map at the moment. Another cart, but I'm assuming it's not going to have anything. Yeah, that's one of those nothing carts. But we just made it back to where that bridge is, that's fine. Oh, it's a wind. I saw, like, that gust, I guess, and thought it was something else. I forgot to... I got distracted from Erdtree to Windmill. I needed to go back to, um... I wanted to go back to the, uh... Dictus lift. For the grace all that really matters to see what um also the fact that I'm here and have so many ruins that I really should be using I want to go back to the dictus lift because there was an NPC that I missed when I was playing the game and saw while talking about the lost episode if you've seen it um could do one more HP Kind of want to do more mind, I think. Or actually, let's just get my faith up. Beep. 
I want to get the map here, at the very least. Also get rid of this. I have three of these up. That's two. What's my first one? Is there a way for me to, like, find it easily? Because I'm blind. Like, when I zoom out, I can barely see it. Why did I put another one down? Marker brings that up. That's kind of gonna piss me off. Something like over here. Dude, I haven't gotten any like beast rot in forever for beast lads. I guess I could have just looked at my waypoint map. That would make things easier, wouldn't it? One is that way. Was it at the round table? What did I do? This is gonna like, peeve me off forever. I'm pointing in the direction. Wait, I, I did, I saw it. How did this happen? Who did this? Huh. Strong foe ahead. Okay. I, I want to look at my map, but. So I think the castle's right there, right? But strong foe is ahead. Oh, it's you freaks. Well, I'm, I'm gonna let you guys have your little battle. If I can just pick up some items as I book it past you. Blood Rose. I think as long as I run, you shouldn't. One of these hang giants gonna come and get me. Dog! Invader? That's not great. Dog is here. So much for you, Invader. Invade this. Got him. Uh, butcher knife. Great sword or... Ooh, golden vow. Again, I'm getting something cool. Alright, let me deal with this dog before dog deals with me. Huh. Well, that doesn't look like much of a path forward. There are so many corpses around here. It's kind of scary. I guess a volcano man... Oh, stone sword key. Volcano manor should be scary. I keep wanting to call it crimson manor for some reason. Well, it looks like there's a path that way. If only I had some kind of map. So it looks like I would have to go from this way around, maybe? Let me look at that butcher knife. Oh, it was a great axe. A huge carving knife made to cleanly butcher the human body. Signature weapon of the Argress Anastasia, known to have eaten countless tarnished while disguised as a finger maiden. Restores a very small amount of HP when it squarely strikes an enemy. That's cool. Kind of seems neat, honestly, but... I didn't really look at what it required. I'm assuming it's strength. Most big weapons are strength. I realized when I looked at other curved great swords that I... Bloodhound Fang is basically unique in its high, higher decks. What is going on there, buddy? When compared to... Please let me get up before something kills me. Um, when compared to the other great swords, they seem to be more strength oriented. Okay. I'm good. Can't catch me now. 
I'm going up rope ladder. I didn't actually see the ladder. I saw the fire and thought it was like going to be a door to a dungeon. Maybe this will get me the, the manor. I can also level up again like immediately. Maybe not immediately, but pretty soon. I think it was 3, 9, 39 something that I need it. Try left and seek checkpoint. Thank you for a try left. I appreciate you. Should have appraised message. I should go back to see message. Let's um do whatever's over here and kill whatever's going to show up while I'm over here. Yeah, I can climb. Oh, I'm dead. Good luck. It's kind of a shame that you get pushed off your horse before you even get the invader message. Because it kind of like ruins the surprise or the... The more interesting aspect. Oh, what are you doing, wolf dog? I don't want to, but... Likely sadness. Ah, uh, whole. I'll say likely sadness. I feel bad. He was just sitting by his master's side, even if, if this guy just looks like a mummy. I'm just sure he would have attacked me. I guess I really should have waited it out to see. I'm kind of an animal, aren't I? I'm a wolf. What a weird location. Pick it up. Pick, 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 pick it. Thank you. Really difficult. I need to, like, kill something else. Volcano stone. You look like just enough experience. What would you give me, like 12? <laughs> it was actually 12. Try jumping. Seems like a great idea, dude. Yeah, I'm sure you got it. It's a lot of people to try jumping. That's like way too many people to try jumping. Oh. I got scared that that was one of those, like, eagles. I also, um... I thought for a second you guys were NPCs. Which is why it took me a minute. And then he went like, oh! Ah! And then got mad. And I'm like, ah, oh, I gotta fight now. Where's that, uh, try left one? Yeah, you're a good message. Thank you, message. I probably would have tried right. And never have noticed that this was here. Dang. I need like one of the basic. This gives me like 200, right? Wouldn't it be neat if you could just like pop those while on the level up menu? I need it one more. Wrong menu. Just for convenience sake. I just want to... I, I like not having souls in my inventory. Uh, faith some more. Speaking of faith... I got a different faith thing. It was this one that I can use. Increases attack and defense for self and allies. Can I use that with the fire? Like, can I just boost like 20 times? It costs a lot of FP, though. I don't know if there's a way I would be able to tell if both are active. I have not really used Electrify. Blood Flame seems too good, especially since I can boost fire. If that actually works, I'm still not positive, but if it does, it seems neat. Not what I want to do. I got... I got stupid. I was trying to do two things at once. I was trying to switch to... One hand. Yeah, that doesn't really uh, tell me anything, does it? Um, no, it looks like it. Because I think that armor up there... There's turtleneck. 
armor, sword, and something else. I think that would indicate the two things are going off. I should have paid it. I'm sorry. Testing things. No. That's just all things. So I don't. I have no idea. Those are probably boosts that I have from something else. Oh, you know what What doesn't help is that my boosts are still active. I think I have to teleport to unactivate those. That's why it wasn't really working. I think the turtleneck is because... Oh, uh, yeah, they're gone now. So, flame grant me strength gives me those three things. So, I definitely do get the armor boost as well. I might not be able to stack the attack boost, but I could double up. Obviously, the problem is going to be whether or not I um, don't have enough of those. I think I have, yeah, I have that at least. The problem, obviously, is going to be how much FP it costs, but going nuts on that seems like a fun idea, doesn't it? Especially if you can, like, oh. Use that in conjunction with the Wonder Flask. Hey, I got pants! You guys, are you... When did I do that switch? At no point did I want to do that. When did I press that button? Um... I forgot that I actually had those new Wonder Flask things, and I'm not sure if I will remember what they were. Guess I should have continued to just be killing enemies. Ow! You have hyper armor. You have a stupid spear. Yeah, they look like they're eating corpses, which is very cool. I got your shield. Brass shield, I heard, was a really good shield. But, um, that's, like, early game. I think, like, they all had the potential to drop that shield. And I ended up never getting it. Because, like, obviously these are all basically the same enemies. They might have a bit different... Rainbow stones lead the way to riches. Oh. Oh! Who could this be for? Can I climb that tower, actually? Before I find all these cool riches. I was going to say at some point, I don't remember if I ever actually did. Unrelated to anything that's happening, Patches seemed like he was kind of a cool... Oh, hello. Patches seemed like he was kind of a cool guy. Like, obviously, he had the chest, and he, like, trapped it and kind of said, like, Oh, aren't you just a little freak? But that was more on me than anything. I was going to mention, isn't it, like, a thing where Patches always uh, pushes you off a cliff? I know this trick was used... Oh, I shouldn't have it stood there. I thought I could, like, get a look at the area before continuing forward. But, um... I know Bloodborne was basically... Someone's mad over there. Bloodborne did something like this. Pulley bow! Who's... Who's doing something? Also, is there like a secret chest? You? What are you doing, buddy? Oh, look at him running! Ow. Okay, that was a little rude, dude. That was a little upsetting. Okay, well. Anyways, rainbow stones, though, they seem pretty neat. But I, th I think, like, the actual thing with patches is always that he... Pushes you, like, off a cliff. Ah! 
I actually thought you were the guy that was up top throwing stuff at me that you like climbed the ladder. I guess not. Look at this dude. Good thing about that is it's just a thrown item that electrifies compared to the uh, magic one that follows you. Do I want to follow these yet or should I see if there's another bonfire nearby? Well, that's not a bonfire. Oh, I, I was going to say, nothing's here. Let's take a Marika. Mm, I was going to say, you guys can't handle horse combat, but then I goofed. But then you guys couldn't handle horse combat. Scavenger Curved Sword. This one. Unique Curved Sword notched like shark teeth. Weapon carried by corpse pillagers who prowl the site of old battles. The blade is tacked with blood and covered in hefty nicks, making it totally uneven. Life can be sinister indeed. Yeah. Life is sinister. Um... Ladder. Time for more ladders. What is over there? That's probably where the Urtree is, so... Looks like something. Could be nothing, but looks like something. I'm assuming also where the capital city part is. Where am I going? Oh, there's group. Mm hmm. Almost died. I got your stupid helmet. That's cool. Who do the marionettes belong to? Probably no one specifically. Full execution there. Okay. Yeah, those arrows are neat. Let me get up at some point. Okay, I'm dead. And they, they just kept going. What are you shooting at? Well, I want those souls back. I guess I can look at the helmet. Maybe it'll tell me who's the real marionette. Cylindrical helm of plate metal reinforced with a latisse worn by marionette soldiers crafted to serve the sorcerers. The construction of this helm is remarkably crude. For a doll, the only thing that matters is that it does not break. Yep, I broke some of them. Then again, they broke me pretty bad there. Um, so yeah, I guess they belong to Rey Lucaria and they're just here now. I mean, I guess everyone's kind of at war with each other, so... It makes sense that just everyone's kind of attacking everyone. Great pumpkin, Charlie Brown, what are you doing here? Yeah, I'll, I'll deal with this later. Give me a minute. My souls are up there. I went a little too far ahead because I was hoping for something else. Is this guy going to be spawning? If I climb a ladder, I don't think it's going to matter. Also, I don't think he is going to respawn in, so we're good. It's a shame that that stake of Marika isn't in this area. I see, like, obviously the... Um, our bonuses under all of our bars mentions when we're in a stake zone. Like, right now, we're out of it. Which is probably why that one in the uh, Twin Watchdog dungeon wasn't working. Because it didn't, um... Probably didn't bring that up for us. Okay. Just be a little bit careful when dealing with these guys. I thought that was a wind current, but I think it's just volcanoes. Hey, that guy's doing better this time, though. Still got hit a lot. At least he dropped me his Ur-Tree surcoat. I probably should read all of their, like, surcoat information, because I'm sure it's... 
Actually, what's over here? Was that really it? Just like these guys freaking out? Definitely don't want to drop down there. Pathetic sort. Was I? I wasn't that way. Oh god, I almost fell. No, I wasn't there at all. I could... Nope. That's where I was down there. And then that's definitely the Volcano Manor. So I'm just making my way around until I eventually find something. Hopefully that eventual is another bonfire. I see that guy up there. He was going to throw a firebomb at me. A magma bomb, maybe. I don't know. That fire looked weird. I thought maybe it was magma for a minute. Could probably jump to that, but I don't think there's any reason to. Was it worth me fighting you like that? Uh, don't, no, 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 horse! Twisting a little too much there, horse. I just wanted to pillage the cuckoo glenstone. Okay, there was a, another ladder. I remember seeing it, I think, before I died. There it is. Heal up just in case. Ooh, two ladders. There was one over there. I think that's the one I saw. That wasn't an enemy, right? I just... Oh, it was an enemy! You know, I could just not miss. I guess you were hanging on to that. I was gonna say I wonder if Turrent could use that as an air current, but I kind of doubt it. I think that's just volcanic rock. Because if you don't know, we're going to a manor called Volcano Manor, and when we were there kind of earlier, there was kind of some lava. Just a little bit. How did you know I was here? I know it'll mark on my map, but I'm still going to just put that there because I feel like it's easier for me to see. Hmm. And I wish I didn't come this way. Like, I don't know. I'm just kind of hoping for a bonfire, but I'm not really getting anything. I feel like I want to go higher up than go to the merchant right now, just because I could drop down to the merchant. Poor Patches is like, oh, no one followed my instructions. I just wanted to have a little bit of a laugh. A little, a little joke. Group ahead. I spot ahead. You had another ladder. I can drop down here. I guess I couldn't. Because that hurt a lot. Oh, dear customer, you must not have heard me last time. Right this way. Right this way. Welcome, valued customer. Please, I'm hungry. I've been hungry so Maybe you shouldn't have set up shop on top of a volcano. Uh, I'll always buy keys. Volcano pot. I'm gonna buy that just so I have it. Confessor heard sounds... Do I want to just buy these just so I have them? They kind of look neat. I'm gonna buy them. Use all my money on this. Why not? Now you won't be hungry. I'm assuming the confessor robe is, like, much lighter. 
and does not offer me a lot. Black leather armor for blending in with the darkness worn by church confessors. The church is outside the land between, dedicated to the teachings of the Two Fingers. Send confessors out to follow the guidance of grace. It looks neat, but I think I like my heavy defense at the moment. So I don't really think I have to ever really come back to you because you just sold some random stuff beyond what I bought. I'll keep the marker, though. I think I have plenty of markers I can place down if I need to. I just want to get the map of the area and then we'll consider some other things. Well, here's my high ground. There's a, uh, a lore sword. That's what I call those. I think the message mentioned. Yep. You guys are a little peeved. Don't gank me. Pull whip. I would like to just kill the little man. Please. Okay. Oh, that's the... The roar. Okay. I, I kind of tanked that last hit because I was like, kill him quick. But it worked out. Alright, we got some frenzy. I was going to say, was that not a lore sword? I got distracted by the manor over there. Or not, it was. Wow, that crow was super low poly. It's not even flying right. The assault on Volcano Manor, the squalid, the sick, the blasphemous. A wretched, unending war with no glory. Look at him go! I shouldn't see these. I see a side of grace. I'm absolutely going to just book it to that. What is that over there? Looks like I can drop down to that. God, I really need a map. I hate being here with no map. Yeah, I'm gonna go straight for the side of grace. I'll double back once we hit it. Well, you tell me, message. Grace ahead. Time for strong foe. Okay. Obviously, big bridge is a little spooky. Another ladder over there, but there is a jump, so who cares? Uh, boop, boop. Zoom back over. That's way down where I was that time. I guess I could have seen that statue from there, maybe. Actually, that I think that looks like the path that my good boy Patches was trying to lead me down. Watch it not be Patches. I'm so smug about it. Oh, you're a big boy. Can't handle my horse combat, though. Oh! Where did you come from? You know, it took me forever to realize that they kind of have a different burst of energy on upon death to indicate that they dropped a uh, item. I only noticed when I was fighting the uh, clean rot people. Which again, like that's... Oh, the goblins? That's 60 hours into the game. Anything else over here? More goblins! A cave! Guess we're going into a goblin cave. Volcano cave? I hope there isn't lava. Might as well sit. I don't really need to, but might as well. Here I go not using my spear. I would love it if those goblins were, like, the only thing here. I also kind of... This 
seems like a basic cave, like the one that Patches was in, so I'm hoping it's small. I kind of don't want to spend so much time in it. Try behind? Okay. I trust you. Was this the... I haven't done that in a little bit. Where did I come in? From over here? Nope. <laughs> Probably should... I really should have bought that hand lantern. And I don't remember where it is. Well, I see that. I'm willing to drop down there, but give me a minute. You know, big groups of enemies might actually be fun with this. So I, I guess I do want to go down the other hole because I would be able to get rid of some of the ones that would drop down. And then I'm... Ah! You spooked me, you scurrying little freak. Huh. That's a lot of bleeding over here. I uh, don't have enough weight for a torch because I have both of my weapons on. So, a lantern might be a great investment. Maybe next time I'll just look up where who had the lantern and just grab it. See, pretty good with groups. That worked exactly as I intended it to. Doesn't it feel great when things work like you want them to? Bah! You guys are pretty sneaky when I don't have a lantern. Dead in the head, but could this be a shield? Could it? What? They would never ambush me. Oh. It said be wary of right. I looked left. Well, also... I like how I broke his cover and he just didn't care. Yeah, this spear is pretty nice. That's not a shield. Now that's a shield. Assuming I'm safe here. Hopefully. I'm curious as to what that shield is because it looked weird. Causes poison buildup. Armament designed for gladiatorial combat. Rises above its peers as a particularly showy specimen. The sculpted bronze snake is a poisonous breed. Boosts at the wielder's resistance to poison. That's cool. And then a viper. It looks like it has a special thing, but I'm assuming it's like a slam poison thing. Hidden path? Oh, you were right! Okay, that's just where you are. Oh, you know? You know I'm here? Cool whiff. Cool. Where you go? Whoa. You got a little fancy. I shouldn't have kept attacking there. That should have been easy, but I made it scary. Flesh lump. Well, there's a fog door. I think this was where I would have came in, right? Why is it always weak foe? Yeah, you know. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, this is back into the main room. Okay. I just wanted to double check before I made a mistake. I'm assuming, like, if we get a special item in a... In a dead end... Usually that seems to mean that there isn't going to be anything too crazy anywhere else. Could be wrong about that. Would like a steak, but we can probably rush this pretty easily. I do think just in case, I am going to... Uh... I 
forgot that costs a lot. Now we're really cooking. I should have used my Wonder Flasks. Oh, it's one of you. I say that. You could be scary. I don't know. You could also just not be scary. What is that? You're going to do some... Oh, nope. Nothing as crazy as I thought you were going to do. Oh, you dropped your spear, actually. That's what you did. But you're dead, so... Jar Canyon... Not canyon. No, I, I got a little carried away. Where are you? Let's go. Jar cannon, which uses explosives to fire great bolts, deals great damage but is slow to reload. Experimental firearm brought to the assault on Volcano Manor, where it was discovered that no one knew how to use it. Uh, yeah. I feel like when you mount a cannon onto your arm, it's going to be kind of a wild ride. <laughs> 